The Republican race is now really engaged. The gloves are off. Rick Perry has shown he's willing to take take a swing at Mitt Romney. He called out Mitt Romney as a hypocrite, straight to his face. Mitt Romney showed he's not going to back down. He walked over, put his hand on Rick Perry's shoulder, and told him that he is wrong. They wagged fingers at each other. They clucked at each other. They shook their heads in disbelief. This race is about to turn nasty. We're in our final weeks ahead of Iowa and New Hampshire, and it shows that this is not going to be a lesson in civility. Would you please wait? Are you just going to keep talking? Republican primary voters and caucus goers aren't a... They actually reward this type of behavior. Civility is actually a bad word in the early nominating states. They like people debating issues. They don't like people being shrinking violets. They want someone who's going to stand up and take a baseball bat to their opponents. Because at the end of the day, they need someone who's going to take a baseball bat to Barack Obama. They really want to defeat Barack Obama. They want to make him a one-term president. And you're not going to do that with PowerPoint slides. You're not going to do that with gentle language. Yet again, Mitt Romney came out on top. He again appears to be the most capable and most prepared for these debates. That said, he's only polling about 25% support in poll after poll after poll. That means three quarters of Republican voters want someone else. That's not necessarily a great place for Mitt Romney to be. But as long as those three quarters of Republican primary voters continue shifting to someone else, it's not the end of the day for him. Rick Perry's had a bad string of debates in the recent weeks. Last night, he showed that he's ready to debate Mitt Romney. He's shown he's up to the task. His answers still, the substance of them weren't really there, but the style was there. And style actually trumps substance. Kane, um, his debate performance was shaky. It wasn't up to what it had been. And he seemed to have been cast almost down to the second tier, uh, despite polling that, that would suggest he's still the, possibly the front runner in some polls. I would remind you, we've seen the Bachman surge, we've seen the Perry surge, we saw the Huntsman surge. These things happen, they have very short uh, shelf lives, and they continue to shift as people are looking for an alternative to Mitt Romney, who at this point has been running for president for six years. Their support in polling is really just a referendum on Mitt Romney, not necessarily an affirmation of their candidacy.